Hello, good day everyone, and welcome back to my blog, the Marquina Conservatory. So for now, we're gonna do an unboxing on the latest gadget that I have acquired or purchased from Lazada. Uh, basically, I got this from the official Akaso uh, store for an action cam. So we're just gonna do a little unboxing. So I just wanted to be quick uh, about this as soon as possible because, uh, uh, you know, I'm currently busy on a lot of things and I want to use it and test it as soon as possible. So I got is the Akaso Brave 7. I would have bought Akaso Brave A but currently I lack the budget because I have some <laughs> financial issues lately and I lack the money to... Oh, okay, so here's my cat. So sorry about that. Uh, I just currently lack the money in buying the Akaso Brave 8. But you know what? If you can't have the next, if you can't have the best thing, why not go for the next best thing? So here's the reason why I got the Akaso Brave 7 unboxing. Uh, I also bought the uh, package that comes with a free mic. Of course, the mic itself is an official Akaso. Uh, uh, Akaso, what do you call this? Akaso. Uh, let's just say it's a first party uh, equipment so right okay so uh, this is the mic from Akaso that they uh, you know comes along if I buy this one so just to give us a little quick preview Akaso has in the box an Akaso Brave 7 which is, comes with the unit the camera frame the remote control in case I'm very far from you know the switching buttons and also I got the battery charger which is good for uh, batteries from the name itself, battery, very self-explanatory. And also we have the 1350 mega amps batteries, two of them, so a spare one and a main one which is good. We got as well a mount and a helmet mount, twice, lens cloth, basically worthless, just only a cloth. Uh, handle bar movement, I'm not sure, probably it's for the bike. We got a strap. Uh, we got a quick start guide, two adhesive pads, and one USB cable in case I want to connect this with a PC, very explanatory of course. And I'm not exactly sure what is this zip tie. Uh, maybe I'll just go figure it out. So by the way, uh, just to uh, make a free, <laughs> make a free uh, I would just like to say uh, that you get this, this is the main uh, social media sites of Akaso. Akaso Official on Instagram, Akaso.Global on uh, Facebook, Akaso uh, I'm not, underscore official on YouTube, and Akaso underscore official on Twitter. Now, uh, let's do um, enough of the waiting, so let's try to unbox this. Okay, uh, let's open this. Yeah, well, I'm not very good at this, so I'm just get. Uh, Okay, so you know, Akaso, no, there's a lot of action cameras out there actually. I was considering three types of action camera, to be honest, before I got one. One was Akaso, the other that I was uh, also considering was GoPro, but it's too expensive. And, uh, okay, just give me a break here. I'm just, uh, I think I'm running out of battery, so yeah. Okay, sorry about that. I had to stop because I ran out of batteries. Uh, fortunately, I had to fix <laughs> my batteries again. So, uh, anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, I was referring. I was actually looking for um, for an action cam. I was looking for three types of brands. Uh, I ended up with Akaso because it mostly has more like the mid-tier thing of all the action cameras. It's not great. It's not bad. So. First I was looking was the uh, GoPro, but unfortunately the GoPro as we all know is quite expensive but they are of course the leading uh, when it comes to this industry, when it comes to the action cameras. Um, the second was the SJ Cam, but unfortunately the SJ Cam has some problems. It's a bit cheaper than Akaso and has more uh, gadgets, but the problem is that they're um, their action cameras don't really have the same stability uh, configuration as Akaso. So, uh, yeah, that's I guess that's the main problem. I needed the, the enhanced image stabilization for uh, outdoors. Okay, uh, where was I? I keep, you know, I keep screwing up when it comes to opening this. Uh, 
I'm not very good with unboxing probably. Okay, so this is the idiot's guide on how to unbox. Okay, so it says here... Uh, okay, I... So I have to remove this. Wait, I'm not very... Ah! Oh, never mind, I'm just gonna rip it in half later on. So we got our quick starting guide. This comes with the kit, two batteries. Uh, of course, this is the remote control. It's blue instead of red, but not gonna worry about that. This is the battery charger. You know, they, they have a lot of uh, accessories here. I think this is, if you're gonna buy for a GoPro, this is worth at least $500, another $500 for a GoPro. Of course, a USB charger. I'm... Well, probably this is a wrench, I suppose. Oh, this is another stand. Uh, this is some straps. Uh, another mount parts, I guess. Another mount. I think this is for the bicycle, and this is for the camera, I guess. Yeah, maybe. But uh, I, anyway, I'll figure this out later. So I just, as much as possible, I want to keep this quick, <laughs> but I keep getting distracted. And we got the straps. So all of this, uh, yeah, all of this for the, uh, oh, by the way, I just bought this in the Philippines. It's about 7,700 pesos at least. So uh, not a very bad deal for an action camera. And uh, so we usually go from, all right. Oh, it's a good thing I know when it comes to basic, uh, using how to unscrew stuff. Uh -huh. okay. Uh, well, this will take quite a while. I have no doubts that this is an authentic Akaso, because the last time I ordered an action camera, I ended up with a bunch of rocks. <laughs> Not very good. So, yeah, okay, so it says on the box, unscrew, huh, okay, I'll remove this, I guess, and, uh, I guess press this one on the side. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> okay, this is a bit of comedic, because I was trying to get rid of the map, but I got the whole camera extension itself, so, yeah, uh, okay, so I guess that's where we're finished for the unboxing parts. I'm going to check on the details here later on. So, uh, just stand by. So, have a great day. Have a great day. Hello, everyone. So, I'm just returning for the uh, visual of the uh, Akaso Brave 7 action camera. So, I've already uh, disconnected it from the, uh, from the main... Uh, from the main box. So as you can see, I'm just going to remove this. This is how you remove the action camera case. So just to uh, tell you on my review, uh, the Akaso Brave, said, uh, Brave 7 has dual uh, screens, one that you use at the back, just like a camera, and another front screen, which, which is, uh, I think, uh, an inch and a half. And it's very the, the this screen is very good for blogging, and also uh, it has dual mics. Uh, as you see here, the small hole here is the mic on the side, while the other hole here, this one specifically, is the mic on the top. Now this is the Wi-Fi indicator of the action camera, and we're going to switch this one on. Oh yeah, uh, before we switch it on, uh, sorry, uh, my uh, thoughts are not that uh, arranged. Um, this is, of course, the battery compartment. So we just put it out, this is the battery, we just, here we remove this one. Now the battery that was sent is around 1350 amps over 4.99 uh, watts, 3.7 volts. So if I recall correct, this is enough for the consumption of the Akaso Brave 7 for at least an hour of uh, footage. On the side, 
we have a USB-C port and a micro SD camera which we store the of course footage for the Arca so um, okay one uh, and also on the side I forgot to tell uh, sorry I guess this is the problem with this Arca so the side um, uh, you know the side uh, hatch seems to be quite difficult to uh, put back and also this is the speaker of the action camera so we could remove the lens of the Akaso Brave 7 by just simply twisting it and just like that but I'm not gonna go any further I'll just keep it this way so let's keep it like that right now we're gonna switch it on Okay, so you get uh, some sort of uh, sound when you switch on the Akaso Brim 7. I've already set the settings to uh, 4K 30 frames per second. By the way, this screen is a touch screen. If I click on that, you can see that you have two, six options in total. One is for the usual video, the stop motion, the time lapse, the Wi Fi, uh, the driving mode, and the still photo. Of course, the still photo. Um, is mostly like uh, taking video capture cameras but I'm gonna keep this one on video mode okay and uh, so the battery that I inserted here is about 128 uh, gigabytes if I recall correct which provides at least five hours of video and if you want to use the uh, front camera Okay, so if we want to use the front camera of the Akaso Brave 7 uh, action camera, all we have to do is press and hold this one, the lower arrow, and it automatically uh, loads on the front. So it, this is good for blogging, of course. But we're going to switch it back. So we're now using the back end. Now, as we can see here, this is the options that I have. This is the 4K resolution. 2K30, we got an average. Uh, okay, uh, I guess we should, uh, oh, okay, uh, I guess this is quite bad. Uh, give me a moment here. Okay, as long as it's average. So, as, uh, oh, okay. Um, right, I guess I've already switched on the, uh, the, uh, I guess this was a big, uh, thing. Okay, I'm going to switch on the automatic um, image stabilization here. Oh, great. Um, okay, I, I made a mistake there. So, uh, let's open it up one more time. We just press and hold for about a few seconds. Uh-huh. And this is for the album. Already made that one. We're not going to go for photos, we're going to go for videos. Oh, right. I guess this is the problem for a touch screen. If you really have big fingers, you're going to have some problems. And, uh... Okay, now I'm going to go for the settings. So this is the settings. I've already on the image stabilization here. It's already switched on. So, uh, you can see there's a small icon here that leads to more like an anti shake. This is for the uh, SD card, and this is for the battery, and this is for the mic. So, I guess I'm going to uh, test later on the mic and see if it works. So, uh, just stay tuned. Okay, hello everyone. So, I'm currently now testing the, uh, the audio for the Akaso uh, action camera, Akaso Brave 7. So I'm currently using the issued, uh, the issued mic or the issued microphone. So, yeah, okay. So I'm just making sure that there is no windy right now or any wind noise from the uh, that might distort the. Uh, the uh, audio. So as expected, uh, the audio isn't exactly that great to be honest. It's a little bit, uh, I'm not sure how you call it. I think it's called muffled. So I'm just going to uh, change it one more time. Hello, hello, hello. 
So this is the audio mic that Akaso uh, issued, the Akaso Accessories. See, this is the specific mic that the uh, Akaso uh, issued. And also, one more thing that I noticed is that the Akaso Brave 7 seems to have uh, problems when it comes to lightning. Now, right now, I'm using a special light. It's not exactly equipped in uh, handling um, dark areas, but uh, I guess this is most common to all action cameras. They have problems dealing with uh, environments or uh, rooms or areas that have a low light. So currently my uh, house right here is uh, a bit, uh, let's just say low light, so I had to put on an extra lamp. Now, um, what did I forget? Oh yeah, uh, one more thing. I'm also using the remote control because this remote control that was issued are accessories that I have that was uh, bought alongside with this uh, Akaso uh, action camera Brave 7. It seems that it doesn't seem to work. So instead, I used a cell phone to uh, make up as a makeshift uh, remote control for the action camera. Okay, so I'm going to uh, change the uh, microphone and see if the audio might improve. So uh, I'm just shifting this one. Okay, so now I am uh, recording on the uh, third, uh, first party, um, first party mic that uh, Akaso uh, used. Unfortunately, I made some experiments if this 3mm uh, converter works on Akaso, but unfortunately, it seems that it doesn't. And to make it the worst part, I am using a jack for 3.5 millimeters for uh, more like a clarity on the audio uh, recording, but it seems that it's not working. But anyway, um, there's uh, another alternative, a third-party alternative that I've heard from uh, from from Lazada that you can use as an alternative for this one. It's but I'm not gonna mention it. Uh, so right now, um, I'm just going to I'm just saying is that uh, third-party devices as of the moment is not exactly working. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure if I just bought a wrong adapter, the USB-C adapter to 3.5 millimeter jack, or simply that the Akaso uh, Brave 7 uh, action camera has just some proprietary hardware, specifically proprietary hardware mic, that is specifically just assigned to function on uh, Akaso uh, action cameras. But, uh, let's see, um, I'm still gonna research on that, if I could use third-party uh, hardware regarding on how to, uh, you know, third-party mics and see if this works on an action camera. So right now, uh, I'm pretty much uh, happy regarding on the uh, audio right now, because I don't have any alternatives. So uh, I guess that finishes my review for now. So, uh, Akaso uh, Brave 7 may not be the best thing out there, but it's the next best thing for an action camera, for a budget action camera, rather than, uh, you, know, you know, if you don't have the budget to, say, uh, look for a GoPro or a DJI action camera, you can always have the Akaso. There's also one uh, I like to uh, tackle, but that's uh, another action camera. But for now, I'm pretty much satisfied about the uh, Akaso Brave 7 action camera. So I guess that uh, ends my review. So just uh, if you do like my video, even though it's a bit disarranged, just please like and subscribe and have and uh, share the video. So and yeah, I, I guess that's all that I could uh, say for now. So. Um, yeah, again, this is Snail. Have a great day, everyone, and see you around on my next video. For now, I'm pretty much satisfied on Akaso Brave 7 that I could use for my, uh, for my uh, work. Probably I'm looking forward that I could use this on the maritime profession or even the aviation as well. So, like I said, have a great day. Bye-bye. See you soon.